going to share with you guys this conditioning hand soap recipe I made. I'm obsessed with it. I think you guys are going to love it. So let's get into it. So I'm going to be making a batch of 250 grams. And I'll be using this 200 milliliter glass beaker. I started with 12.5 grams of cocoa glucoside. That way I can solubilize my fragrance. I'm using lime essential oil and spearmint essential oil. I'm using a total of 2.5 grams of these essential oils combined. I am obsessed with the combination of citrus and like minty or spearmint. So that's why I chose those scents. You can use whatever you want. And then just mix it up until everything's well combined. Now here comes the glycerin. I'm going to be adding in 12.5 grams of glycerin. This will help add tons of hydrating properties to the hand soap. Along with sodium PCA, I'm adding in 7.5 grams of it, and this also will add some hydrating benefits to the hand soap. And here comes sodium lactate liquid. I'm going to be adding in 12.5 grams of it, and guess what? This also serves as a wonderful humectant, so it's going to help hydrate the skin. So next up is our conditioning ingredients, quaternized honey, or for short, honey quat. Now this is a cationic ingredient, which is going to add all kinds of lovely conditioning ingredients to make the hands super soft and supple. And hold up, I know you guys are wondering, how in the world am I gonna pair this with an anionic surfactant? Because most of us know cationic surfactants can't be paired with anionic surfactants, they just aren't compatible. But fortunately for this ingredient, it is actually formulated to be compatible with anionic surfactants, so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna be adding in 7.5 grams of the Honey Pot, and next up is Liquid Dermal Plus. This is our preservative, and I'm adding in 1.25 grams of that. And next comes the coloring. I'm gonna be using this pink mica powder, and this mica powder actually adds this gorgeous pearlescent look to the hand soap that just, just looks so luxurious. So just mix that in until the mica powder dissolves in the hand soap. And next up, I'm gonna be adding in AOS-40 sodium C14-16. This is our anionic surfactant that's going to serve as our main cleansing and bubbling ingredients. And I added in 62.5 grams of it and then just slowly mixed it in. Now I'm gonna be adding in 123.7 grams of distilled water and mixing everything together, making sure to not cause too many bubbles because this thing lathers up easily. And lastly, I'm going to be adding in some Crothix. This is our thickener. And I'm adding in 7.5 grams of it. Again, just mix everything in nice and gently. And also, here is when you want to balance the pH to around 5.5. If you want to know how to raise and lower pH levels, I link to a video down below that explains that. And I'll also link to this video here that I'm showing that shows you guys how to actually take the pH of thick products such as like a thick face wash, thick hand soap, moisturizers, creams, all that kind of stuff. Links down below. So now that you've balanced the pH to around 5.5, we can bottle it up. I'm actually reusing this bottle. I made this hand soap like a week ago. Typically, I advise to always clean out and sterilize your um, bottles in between adding in a new product. But in this case, it's literally the same exact formula and I only made it about a week ago. I made a small batch to make sure I liked it and I wanted to share it with you guys. And I fell in love with it. This hand soap makes my hands so soft. And I really can't recall ever using a hand soap that makes my hands feel so soft afterwards. It's really thanks to the Honey Quat because of its conditioning properties and all the lovely humectants I added into it is really adding all kinds of hydrating benefits to my hands when I go to use it. So I really don't worry about using this hand soap. I use it all the freaking time and it's not drying out my skin. I'm so obsessed with it. So here I am just showing you guys how much this stuff lathers up. You definitely don't have to miss out on any lathers or any bubbles. You're definitely gonna get all of that with this hand soap. It feels so nice. It makes my skin so soft and so conditioned and hydrated like I've mentioned already. And it smells freaking amazing. Spearmint and lime make a great combination. If you never tried that, try it out. And just look at this gorgeous like pearlescent look this hand soap has. That's coming from the mica powder. It just looks gorgeous. So I hope you guys love this hand soap. Let me know if you guys try out this conditioning hand soap. And if you like modify the recipe or anything, let me know how you modified it down in the comments below. So now let's take a look at the formulation, and I just want to go over each ingredient just a little bit. The first ingredient, cocoa glucoside, is a non-ionic surfactant. This adds very mild and gentle cleansing properties to the soap, 
but I'm primarily using it as a solubilizer for the essential oils that I use. Next up is glycerin, sodium lactate liquid, and sodium PCA. These are all humectants. They help hydrate the skin. And next is honeyquat, which we've talked about. This is a cationic ingredient that adds conditioning properties to the skin. Then we have liquid dermal plus, which is our preservative. AOS 40 is our anionic surfactant, which is our primary cleansing and bubbling agent. Then there's crothix, which serves as our thickener. And this gives you a similar texture to like store-bought shampoo. It kind of gels it, but it doesn't make it a thick gel like a serum or anything. It really is comparable to the texture of like store-bought shampoos. And then of course we have distilled water. So now that we got all that covered, let's move on to the Patreon shoutouts. At Stardust Bath & Body, Nature's Farm Girl, Kennedy's Essentials, Let's Blend, Creative with Love, Wallflower Wildflower, Heartfelt Beauty, At Sugared underscore Pineapple, KAJ Bath & Body, Blue Mint Soaps, Saytara, At Salt Air Label, Lunis Beauty, Ardure Naturals, Shark City Naturals, Ohana Lay, At Danny Botanicals, Eclectic Beauty Cosmetics, Escape Bath and Body, EC Naturals, and at Nino55 over on Instagram. Also, I sell products myself over on Etsy. Go check out my Etsy shop. It'll be linked down below along with all my lovely patrons. So I do hope you all enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you're going to be trying it out down in the comments. I do hope you all are staying happy and healthy, and I'm wishing you all the best. Thanks so much for all the support you show me and for watching my video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Later. I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission to find myself with music